everybody, it's Bucky with Top Dollar Home Offer. We buy houses Tulsa, and today I wanted to shoot a video to talk about something that's been on my mind. It was so cool last week, the last 11 days of the fair. We spent just about every day there going around looking at vendors, talking about different things. My boy just loved it. My kids just loved going to the fair, riding all the rides. We did the Mega Pass. It was a great experience. One thing I found at the fair was this really cool hoodie. The weather's finally cooling down and we're excited about it. We love winter. It is a great time for our business. We buy a lot of houses in the winter time. Uh, if you're worried about what you're going to do with your empty house or tire your tenants, you know, give us a call. Uh, we buy houses Tulsa and we'd love to buy yours. But today we wanted to shoot a video and it was kind of an inspiration from this sweater um, or this hoodie, I should say. The guy that sold these at the fair would actually give one to a child in need. They said, you know, most bullying occurs from kids that have dirty clothes and things like that. So giving them out fresh clo clothing or nice clothing will maybe help reduce some bullying, um, at least for that day for that kid. So anyway, we wanted to give back and talk about the way people think and, and asking yourself, you know, are you happy where you're at and what class you are? It really doesn't matter. but. We really want to talk about the way the wealthy think opposed to the way a lot of people think about different avenues or different parts of life in general. Okay, so let's draw this out here and it helps a lot of people. So middle class, okay, or anybody else, right? And then we have the wealthy over here, okay? So a lot of people get angry about talking about wealthy and middle class and just the regular class or hey I'm just too broke I don't even I'm not even in a class it doesn't matter right you can recreate your life in a year you can recreate your life in two years um, the first thing you need, you need to do obviously is get right with God and put him first and then get everything right on the inside and then you can build a business earn more income be more valuable contribute more and help a lot more people okay and that's why a lot of the wealthy do, right? They focus on helping a lot of people and that's how you can make more money. Really, the more money that you make is based upon the more people you help, right? The largest employers make a lot of money, right? So the more, more people you can help with your goods and your services or what you do, uh, the more money you can make, right? So we are in business, obviously, to make money, right? We do give most of our money away. Our goal here by 2025 is to live on 25% of the money we make and give away 75%. You know, we don't need extravagant Lamborghinis or McMansions. Uh, we like nice stuff, but we'd rather give strategically and let that flourish 100 times what the amount we give when you put it in the right places. So that's our goal. But one of the things that helps people get into that right mindset is understanding the way wealthy people think. Okay, so let's talk about that. This class over here, let's draw a dividing line and we'll talk about it. So this class over here believes in a good education, right? So with a good education, you know, that means going to high school, uh, learning all you can, getting good at grades, then going to college and getting a degree. You know, and oftentimes people get degrees just to get degrees and they don't ever apply it or use what they got a degree in. College is really good about prepping you for, you know, just your own responsibilities or the attending class and making your own choices. But it often, most of the time, it doesn't prepare you for the real world or the business world or how to go out and create wealth or create a business or any of those things. There's business classes, business schools, marketing stuff. But the real world is a lot different out there, okay? The wealthy, which is really cool, they believe investing in good financial learning, right? Or education. So what does that mean? What's the difference between these two, right? This is from educators out there where the the wealthy invest in good financial learning is typically from advisors, right? Mentors, they'll pay coaches, they'll pay somebody that's done it before them so they can expedite any of those pitfalls they fell through, okay? So invest in your financial education. 
understand you know the basic accounting of business balance sheets you know you know expenses uh, all those different accounting spreadsheets which we all should understand and know are looking at the value of a company but you don't have to be an expert you don't have to go to college to be an accountant right to understand what a balance sheet looks like or an income statement looks like right you can get good learning and experience and also you can actually hire somebody that has a specialty degree in that when you need to do that okay so what's another difference they seek job security through a profession right so they seek a profession through job security right so many people out there say, hey, I want to go be a doctor, right? Or, you know, a lawyer and all these things, right? Or some people want to be, you know, a plant manager. And there's nothing wrong with any of these trades, right? And any of these specialties. I mean, doctors make good money, lawyers do, plant managers, um, VP, you know, all, all different types of jobs that are out there, right? But people are employed, okay? So if they quit working, they don't get paid anymore, right? That's the difference. Especially if you're like a dentist or somebody that's specialty in, in a specialized trade, then if you're not working, bringing in customers, you're not getting paid, okay? The difference with the wealthy is they believe in building a business. So what's the difference? Let's say you're a real estate investor, right? Or you're a lawyer. If you didn't work a case for six months, would you make any money? Or if you walked away from your real estate business, do you have systems and people in place that you would still make more money at the end of six months than you would if you were there? That means hiring good people, understanding that whole process, right? So what does that really mean? That means these people work for money, right? 